Hello friends, it's me, Chinu Recorder. This is the fifth chapter in the Java webcam tutorial series. And in the previous chapters, we saw how to take a video feed from the webcam and show it on a JFrame, just like this. And in this chapter, we will see how to save a video to an MP4 file. So we will be taking feed from the webcam and we will uh, store it as an MP4 file. So let's see how we can do that. In order to record a video or simply save some images as an MP4 video, we will be using a library called Xaglar. So Xaglar is a very good library that has a lot of functionalities for uh, media related things and we will be scratching only the surface to get exactly what we want as of now, which is saving a video as in an MP4 format. So, you can download the library from the Xaglar download section. I will surely post a link to this website in the description. So let us start writing writing code. So I'm going to create one more file here and let us name it as video writer. And surely we need the public static void main to start the program and let me create an object of this class first. So video writer, video writer equals new video writer and video writer start video recording. So we'll start the programming from here and we will call the method start video recording. Okay, now we have this method and the first thing we need is a file to save the video. And let us create a file called save file and let me create it like this. So, and let me name it as save it dot mp4 so our video format will be mp4 and we will be storing this file in the uh, root location of this project so i'm not giving any extra paths for folders or anything i'm just giving a name for this file and the thing we need <coughs> uh, right now from the server library is a media writer for writing video into a file so that can be created like this so we have a couple of methods like a couple of classes and interfaces here and i'm going to use imedia writer and writer equals you have to copy paste this code so toolfactory dot make writer and here you can provide the name of the location of the save file and here i'm simply going to use the name so save file dot get me then we need to decide upon the size of the video format so this is like a initial x media right now we need to set video recording size okay so i'm going to use a vga resolution which is 640 by 80 or something i'm not sure so for that i'm going to use a dimension object and using the webcam resolution we have already used this in the previous chapters so webcam resolution dot vga dot get size this will return a standard size for vga uh, uh, okay so now we got the size the next the next thing we want to do is to add a media or a video stream to this writer so we created a uh, media writer we have to add a data stream to write into that file so to that writer so writer dot add audio stream and video stream things are here so i'm going to add a video stream and the first thing in it, these two things you can set uh, leave it as zero then here you have to provide the codec for the video so uh, uh, I can't explain this in this chapter because uh, this is much more complex and the thing is for mp4 the most uh, used format or codec is h264 so if you simply search for h264 then you can see that h264 uh, address is a block oriented motion compensation video compression standard as of 2014 it is one of the most commonly used format for the recording compression and distribution of the kernel which means we have uh, different formats and here we are going to use the h264 format so it is going to be icodec.id let me just import this icodec.id.codec id and we have h264 so th this is the one and here we have to provide the width and the height of the video and which it, which we already have obtained from here so it is going to be size.width and size.height so now we have 
decided the video resolution we added a video stream like this so i call it id and things like that now we have to open our webcam so let me write a method here so private void open webcam this uh, this thing we have done in the previous uh, tutorial so i'm not going to explain that right now so webcam webcam equals webcam dot get default so that will provide you with the the default webcam then webcam dot set view size and you have to provide the view size here so we will say we will pass the dimension object here so size and we will provide the size there then webcam dot open so this will open the webcam input stream now what we have to do is to maintain a starting point for the video so that is going to be system dot current milli time second so system dot current time millis now what we will do is we will continuously take images from the webcam and start writing to the video stream so the a video is as i said before a video is nothing but a collection of photos so we are going to continuously take some frames and save it into the video so uh, i am limit i am going to limit the number of frames to 500 so total 500 frames will be taken for this video so if you want a longer video you can simply increase this number to a higher number okay now we have the for loop and we have to start writing code for taking the image and converting it properly so first thing i'm going to do is to take an image so you can take image using webcam and we have a problem here we have to return this webcam object because we need it and sorry about that so I, let me simply return this one so we open the webcam and we return the webcam so uh, we have to call this open webcam method return webcam and now we have to return the webcam so webcam webcam equals open webcam and we will provide the dimension size here so this is the size of the video now what we have to do is we have to create a buffered image so buffered image image equals and we have to convert it to a format that the video can take so convert factory dot convert to type and we have to provide the image here so we are going to grab an image from the webcam using webcam dot get image so which is a buffered image and here just like this codec we have to provide a standard buffered image format and that is going to be this one so if you ask me where did i get this i got this from an example so i also don't know exactly why this one is used so uh, just use that for your purpose for recording mp4 now another thing that we want is a converter i converter and let me just initialize it just like this okay so now we have a I convert also which is used for converting this image uh, this buffered image into the side media writer now what you have to do is to create a frame for the video now we have an image and each image constitutes a frame in the video so I'm going to create a video picture so I video picture frame equals then converter dot convert the picture to I video picture and we have to provide the buffered image here and we, here we have to provide the frame time so the, pro, the video will start at this point and uh, we have to provide uh, the time of this exact frame for example after executing this for loop for like 10 times then uh, the frame will be the 10th frame so we have to provide the exact time for that frame related to the starting time so what you have to do is you have to get the current time system dot current time in this and you have to decrease the starting time so right now what you have here is the uh, duration between the started time and the current frame and then you have to convert it into seconds because this is millisecond so we are converting that into a second then you have what you have to set is a key frame so in the video you will be having multiple key frames so you have to put it as a true or false so we will set keyframe for only the first frame so if i is equal to zero we mark it as a keyframe otherwise it is not a keyframe then you can also provide a quality because for compression and video size you can provide quality for each frame and here i am going to provide under quality which is the maximum 
then every, everything complex is over don't worry now we are just going to call this encode video method, encode video method so now we have grabbed the image from the webcam we converted it into a frame in i video picture format and now we just have to encode the video so what we are going to do is to provide here the zero and here we have to provide the frame that we created so that is going to be the i video picture and we provide the frame there now you have to add some sleep duration in order to limit the fps or number of times you grab a frame because as uh, based on your processor speed and the camera speed you will be grabbing images continuously so in order to get a constant uh, video speed you have to provide some sleep time and if I provide 20 milliseconds of sleep time then within a second if you uh, let me just take a calculator and show to you so if you divide 1000 by 20 then you can see that there are 50 frames per second so this video is going to be 50 frames in a second okay now let me add this refresh section I don't have to handle it no problem now that is completed so this for loop will take 500 frames and then we'll save it into the file now we have to close this frame we have to properly close the writer and we just need to show tell the user that the operation was complete so video recorded to the file and then we will show that it was recorded to this file so it is going to be save file dot get get absolute part so we will get a message saying video was recorded to this file now let me run this program i know this has been quite complicating but uh, just bear with me because uh, these are just boilerplate codes to create mp4 file and let us run this video writer and you can see that the program was started and let me just wave at my webcam until the recording is completed okay and as you can see the Recording was saved to this file, save.mp4. And if you go to that folder, you can see that uh, a file with the save.mp4 and a size of 1.9 uh, MP is available. And if I run this one, you can see that the video was recorded successfully and it is looking as I expected. So that's it, guys. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I hope you understood how to record a video using Java program. So as always, thank you for watching this video. I will uh, put this code in GitHub so you can get this code directly from there. So thanks for watching. See you on the next time.